If you've been following the news, you probably have a date in your head. Maybe it's 2026, maybe 2027. The biggest names in tech are promising us that AGI, artificial general intelligence, is imminent. They tell us that we are on a straight line to a godlike intelligence that can solve cancer, write perfect code, and potentially replace half the workforce. The logic seems sound. We just need to build bigger computers, feed them more data, and boom, we cross the finish line. But there is a massive silent crisis happening behind the scenes that almost no one is talking about. It has nothing to do with code. It has nothing to do with algorithms and it has nothing to do with safety regulations. We are about to hit a physical wall, a wall made of concrete, copper, and physics. In this video, I'm gonna show you why the 2026 AGI prediction is almost certainly wrong. We aren't just running out of ideas, we are running out of electricity. And by the end of this video, I'm going to reveal the drastic, almost sci-fi measures big tech is taking right now to try and cheat physics. Let's begin. To understand why we are stalling, we first need to understand a simple concept that runs the AI world, compute. Compute is just tech speak for processing power. Think of it like brain power. If you wanna solve a simple math problem, you need a little bit of brain power. If you wanna solve the theory of relativity, you need a lot of brain power. Right now, the strategy for AGI is simple. Scale is all you need. This means that if we just make the brain bigger, it gets smarter. But here's where the math breaks. The current top models, like GPT-4, cost roughly $100 million to train. That is expensive. But for a company like Microsoft, it's pocket change. However, to get to the next level, true AGI, we need models that are 100 times bigger. Experts estimate the next major training run will cost between $10 billion and $100 billion. To put that in perspective, $100 billion is more than the entire GDP of countries like Bulgaria or Luxembourg. We're talking about building a single computer cluster that costs as much as the International Space Station. But money is actually the easy part. Tech giants have cash. The problem is that you can't just write a check to the laws of physics. All those computer chips generate heat, massive amounts of heat, and they need electricity, massive amounts of electricity. And this brings us to the first insurmountable wall. This is Northern Virginia. It's known as Data Center Alley. A huge percentage of the world's internet traffic flows through here. Right now, the power grid in Virginia and in other tech hubs like Ireland and Singapore is full. It is tapped out. You literally can't plug in another massive data center without crashing the grid for everyone else. Let's look at the numbers. A standard data center consumes about 30 to 50 megawatts of power, but an AI supercluster, the kind needed to train AGI, that requires gigawatts of power. A gigawatt is not a normal number. A gigawatt is what a full-sized nuclear power plant produces when it is running at 100% capacity. So think about the logistics. To train AGI by 2027, a company like OpenAI or Google needs to find a spare nuclear power plant lying around, vacant, ready to be used. We can't just build a new power plant. A nuclear plant takes 10 to 15 years to build. We have a deadline of two years. Do you see the mismatch? We are trying to run a 2030 technology on a 1980s electrical grid. But wait because the problem is actually twice as bad as I just described. Most people focus on training. Training is when the AI reads the internet to learn. It's like a student studying for a degree. But the real energy killer is something called inference. Inference is what happens when you use the AI. When you ask ChatGPT to write an email or generate an image of a cat in space, that is inference. It is the AI taking the test over and over again. Every time you press enter on a prompt, a massive graphics card in a server somewhere spins up, gets hot, and burns coal or gas to give you an answer. Right now, we are trying to put AI into everything. Our phones, our cars, our fridges, our Word documents. If we actually achieve this, the energy demand for inference will dwarf the energy needed for training. 
We are building a beast that gets hungrier the more we use it. We are rapidly approaching a point where, even if we have the AGI model, we might not have the electricity to let people actually use it. So we have a money problem and we have an energy problem. But surely if we solve those, the AI keeps getting smarter, right? Well, maybe not. For the last decade, we lived by a rule called scaling laws. It basically meant double the data, double the smarts. It was a straight line up. But recently, there have been whispers and some leaked reports that this line is starting to curve. We are hitting diminishing returns. We have basically fed these models the entire public internet. Every book, every article, every Reddit comment. There is nothing left to read. To get the model 1% smarter, we now have to spend 100% more energy. We are reaching the limits of the current technology known as the transformer architecture. It's like trying to make a gas car go faster by just adding a bigger gas tank. Eventually, the car gets too heavy to move. So does this mean AGI is impossible? Is the dream dead? No, but the timeline is wrong. Because of these energy and physics walls, 2026 and 2027 will likely be years of optimization, not revolution. It will feel like progress has stalled, but this stall is forcing big tech to invent new solutions that are essentially cheat codes for physics. Here's what is happening right now. Number one, the hardware shift. We're moving away from GPUs. Companies like Grok are building LPUs and other specialized chips that are 10 times more efficient than what we use today. Number two, the nuclear option. This is not a metaphor. Microsoft has literally signed a deal to reopen the Three Mile Island nuclear plant. Amazon bought a data center attached to a nuclear plant. Google is buying small modular reactors. So here is my verdict. We won't have AGI in 2026. The energy wall is too high. We are entering a construction phase. We need to build the power plants and the new chips first. But once that infrastructure turns on, around 2029 or 2030, the power constraints will vanish. And that is when the real AGI era begins. But I want to know what you think. Are we hitting a hard limit or will an unexpected breakthrough prove me wrong next year? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this deep dive, make sure to subscribe for more realistic takes on the future of AI. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.